now that i've told you the definition of extraneous attributes we are going to now learn what is the exact definition of a canonical cover okay canonical cover definition okay so i say a canonical cover fc of a set of attributes f is a minimal set it is a minimal set of fds equivalent to f okay we have talked about what equivalence is if both the sets have same closure then they are called as equivalent so a canonical cover of f is a minimal set of fds equivalent to f such that it follows two rules such that no fd in fc contains an extraneous attribute okay this is the first condition and the second condition is each lhs of fd in fc is unique okay so what do we mean by this by this we mean that i should not have x to y z x to b c i shouldn't have these kind of fds in my canonical cover rather i should have x to y z b c i should take a union okay so this is my definition of a canonical cover now we will understand an algorithm that computes the canonical cover from the given set of fds okay input is f the set of fds for which we want to generate a canonical cover and my output is the fc canonical cover okay i write the algorithm as repeat the following steps okay use the union rule to replace alpha 1 to beta 1 and alpha 1 to beta 2 with alpha 1 to beta 1 beta 2 like what we did here right x to y z and x to b c has been replaced with x to y z b c okay this is my first step now find an fd which has let's suppose the fd is of type alpha to beta which has an extraneous attribute which has an extraneous attribute a and remove a from this and remove a from this fd okay okay now repeat these two steps until my f does not change okay so whatever i would have in my f at the end would be my fc okay so now let's take an example and understand what is happening in this algorithm let my relation be of type a comma b comma c okay this is my attributes in my relation and i have set of functional dependencies f given by a to b c b to c a to b 